Oh, wow. Okay, so your underlying energy here is the Temperance card, and that is the Nine of Wands. Okay, so there was a period of time where you were probably, like, exhausted, really ready to give up on the situation, and then you just kind of decided to just focus all of your energy inward. Focus all of your time and energy inward. Because, honestly, right, who has the time to be dealing with people that don't really... They haven't been putting in the work, same amount of work as you have. <clears throat> and that's kind of what I was getting the impression of. It was like somebody's been doing a lot of effort, putting in a lot of effort, putting in a lot of work. But the situation that came up first was judgment. So there's some sort of call to action, something that's brought to your attention that really requires you to act on something. Especially, especially since there was this, since there was this, um, this kind of feeling that something has died, something was over, you know what I mean? Something just kind of was put to, you know, I thought you, I think somebody thought that this situation was over, like something was just dying. And then all of a sudden, right, this like, this new opportunity has come up to kind of, I don't know, if necessarily give it a second chance. Because usually the, um, the, you know, judgment, it does talk about giving second chances. It does talk about um, a second time around only because, you know, only because, there's something that you've learned greatly in the cycle of pre you know the cycle going through that that gives you the option to give you know give it either a second chance another shot but there is something here with it regarding this person that you guys have just been focusing on yourself mostly like i don't know if this is the person's fault but i do know that i mean there's nobody at fault right there's no such thing as blame there's no there, you know there's no need to play in the blame game but one thing that's for sure is that there was some sort of imbalance at first that needed to be sorted out. Most importantly, like it's just there's no harmony. There was some out of some things out of balance. Because now, because the reading is about harmony, it's about balancing things out. It's about having some sort of peace. Now, the heart of your reading is justice. Justice talks about balance. It talks about um, um, balancing the scales, of course, like I said. It talks about, you know, corrections, mending, you know, settling things, you know. Because um, uh, justice can also indicate marriage as well as divorce, right? So I don't want to go there with the whole divorce and, and, and um, divorce and marriage thing. Um, especially since we don't have the, the prime card for marriage, which is the higher friend. Um, so... What you do have, though, is this is just this intense, like, karmic energy, with some sort of balancing that it's needed. And it's like, what's crossed here is the Three of Wands. It's almost like you don't know what to expect regarding this. I think the need for the situation, there's a need for the situation to be balanced out. This is a very big reading because of all the major arcanas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six major arcanas out of... Out of nine okay now it's almost like you don't know necessarily what to expect from this other person I think it's kind of been out of whack for a long time so you kind of just don't know you've been focusing on yourself a little bit more <clears throat> I think as well um, I think you you may not you may, you may not be expecting anything to come out of this um, uh, you know, I think you just know that there's some things that just need to be hashed out. Maybe you guys feel like you deserve an apology, but you don't even expect that from this individual. Wow, that's messed up. I feel like most importantly, though, there's just something that needs to be bounced out for a lot of you guys. And I don't know, it's almost like you guys lost your enthusiasm with it. You lost your expectations with it. You don't even expect anything. Now, in the past, you have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune talks about a second time around, second chance, second opportunity with somebody. And I feel like for some of you guys, you guys really have been like, you guys have really started over with somebody that you've already known. Or maybe, you know, you had an opportunity, a new opportunity in a relationship with someone new um, from, you know, that you pretty much had um, better, uh, you, had a, you had a perspective that you could have used, that you've used um, that you didn't have beforehand. Like if you had a relationship before this situation, that means you pretty much use what you learned from that last experience to help you with this situation. But even that turned into a situation with the devil with, you know, when I say that, I mean, pretty much you guys feel very trapped, stuck in a situation. You probably even resorted back to old habits and behaviors, right? 
and it's like like it's just it just feels trapping it doesn't feel very healthy uh in a relationship to be honest with you and it's really weird that the three of wands is crossing why is the three of wands crossing the ace of swords yeah you don't know what to expect you don't know what to expect right now and it's yeah i mean i get that because if things have just been out of whack out of balance somebody's probably been very codependent as well in this situation it's kind of hard to determine what's going to happen what isn't going to happen and it's like i think there's just kind of like feeling like you don't have a lot of options you don't have a lot of choices around you at this time and it's not the case right because the devil does talk about yeah that there are some things or some habits or some behaviors that may be on that, that may not be very beneficial to you at this time but that doesn't mean you have to go along with it and i think that's the thing right like it's just like you don't have to go along with it you don't have to kind of you don't have to do anything you don't want to do and if this is something if this is a situation in which you don't really want to deal with or you don't want to do then this is something that you just kind of have to like you know this is probably why the uh, the just judgment card did come out because it's like mm -mm, this isn't for you why is the devil coming up in the present why is the devil coming up in the present for aries just six of, yeah okay somebody's just been putting in too much work somebody's been putting in too much work yeah the balance situation has to do with codependency somebody is um is being very codependent in this relationship at the moment and it's just like it's easier for this person to do it by themselves it kind of gives me the feel but it's like should you be doing it by yourself though probably not and at the same time, it's messing up this balance, and it's like you don't know when it's going to be fixed. Well, if you if if you continue to to constantly take care of things on your own, you can expect it never to be fixed because you're not providing, you're not making the person accountable. Because justice also is not just about correcting the wrongs, mending situations, settling stuff, and this sort of imbalance. It's also making people accountable for their actions. By you not doing something that they're supposed to be doing, or they not, you know, you know, cutting the boundaries because you want to get impatient, so you just kind of, you know, you rather do it yourself. Like if you don't, if you just make that other person do what they're supposed to do, that's keeping them, making them accountable for their actions, and that's what justice is all about too. It's making them accountable for their actions, and that's the situation here going on now with the devil and the six pentacles. Somebody's not take, is not being accountable for their for their um for their other half of the relationship somebody's not doing their 50 and it has to do with somebody that's overindulging or someone that's going overboard and taking care of the other person's responsibilities in the relationship and i think this is why the hermit's coming up in the heart of the underlying energy of your reading right now is because like right now the focus should be on you the focus should be on what you need to be taken care of right taking care of your 50 and then leaving the other person to do their other half if they can't do that, then that is your call to action. That is your thing that you need to figure out, whether or not this is something that you can continue or not. But other than that, stepping in and taking care of things and when they're not doing anything at all to kind of compensate or whatever, that's no. That's that is why you can't expect things like you're you're in a place of like you're waiting for some sort of new perspective to come through, some sort of something, but you don't know what to expect to come from it, because honestly you're just kind of doing a lot of this work for this individual instead of letting them take accountability for the actions that they need to be taken care of, right? If somebody else in your relationship is taking uh, taking care of all the responsibilities and it's making you feel kind of like incapable of putting in your 50 or something. You know what I mean? But I feel like you're doing too much, Aries. I feel like somebody's taking care of everybody and they shouldn't be doing that anyway. Because in the future, you have the high priestess. Somebody, somebody starts to get quiet and starts pulling away and starts getting all secretive. Somebody just, just stops talking. Someone stops giving altogether. And I feel like that's you. Like, you get tired of it. You get tired of doing things because you feel like you're entitled to it. But in actuality, to be honest with you, you're not making yourself... You're not making them accountable for for, for doing what they need to do. If somebody is doing too much in the relationship, be quiet and being passive at the same time, that's like, that's a good thing in a way. 
but it's a sh it's a shock because it's a shock to the system because the person is going to be is used to this. The devil is not like a somebody's like buying it's, a, it's not like a new thing it's bondage exciting no it's just something that someone became very comfortable with especially with the empress being your external energy somebody got extremely comfortable with how things have been so to be just automatically to just be passive all of a sudden like i mean it has its it has its effects and its defects but especially if you want this relationship to work there has to be some sort of correction regarding this sort of sort of dynamic. The dynamic the dynamic is off because somebody is comfortable. Somebody is comfortable with doing the thing, doing everything on their own, and someone is comfortable with letting that person do a, do everything. So somebody stops doing stuff. Somebody holds back. Somebody just puts everything on hold. I feel like that's you. I feel like if you're the person that's giving too much and being codependent in the relationship at the moment, Aries, then yeah, you're going to probably feel like, you know what? I'm not doing this. I'm just going to stop because that's what it looks like. And I feel like in a way you should focus on yourself. Just focus on your 50. Do the best that you can. But also, of course, make it clear to the individual because I think you're not communicating what you expect from the relationship as well. You could, I hope, hopefully you're not those, you're not one of those people that just kind of expect people to know what you want rather than communicating that because the ace of swords and the three of, three of wands can kind of indicate to me that somebody may expect something that they're not communicating. And it's like, how can you expect somebody that's not you to know what you expect? It doesn't make sense. It's kind of, that's, it's completely crazy. You know what I mean? I've had, I, you know, I've got, I know people that do that. And it's like, that, that is so, what, what are you doing? That doesn't make any sense. And I feel like there may be somebody around you that may be doing this to you. That may be like, you don't, that you have to kind of do what they expect, even though they don't say it, or that you do that to someone else. Don't do that because honestly, it just messes up everything. And it gets this whole thing all jacked up for you and the other person. It makes you feel overburdened with responsibilities. It makes you, you know, take care of everything because they don't know what to expect and you haven't communicated it because you feel like they should already know. That's an entitlement and that's something that necessarily you don't necessarily have the right to to claim. Like you you're not entitled to anything. You are you you are allowed to want to have some sort of balance in your relationship. You're not entitled for the person to just figure it out. You have to communicate that too. Okay? And if the other person isn't doing that, they need to communicate that mess too. Because why is it? Because the high priestess is just nothing, stagnancy, nothing. It's not like the hanged man, but she shuts up. She doesn't do anything. She's just passive the whole way through. So you go from you know doing all this craziness to being passive as hell. And it's like okay, I get what you're doing. I understand why, but should you be doing that without explaining to the other person why you're not doing anything? Probably not. Because it's going to cause another problem. So your goal and ambition is the Ace of Wands. Starting something new. It's a new beginning. But with passion. With drive. With excitement. And I feel like that's good too. Like you need that. Because obviously this relationship has been a lot more work than it has been anything else. Somebody has been taking care of somebody a little too doggone long. And I feel like that's got to be put to an end, first of all. And first and foremost, things need to be balanced out. How do you do that? By honestly focusing on yourself, maintaining your half of the relationship, communicating what your needs are, but then leaving it at that, right? Because that, you have to give the other person a chance to do something. But then, yes, it means being. It just means you doing you. High Priestess in the future, that's why I'm not saying like that's a bad thing, as long as you communicate what your needs are. Do communicate what you expect. Do communicate what you're no longer willing to do for this relationship, but then you know what? That's up to them. Because if they mess that up, if they mess up a good relationship with you, then that's it, you know what I mean? They are not worthy, they're not worthy. They're just like, that's it. They gotta be able to show what they're doing is worth, you know, they, they gotta be they gotta be on top of their mess. You know, like I said, the Empress and the external energy is showing that somebody is straight up being codependent right now. And with the Six of Pentacles and the Devil being up there, codependency is a big thing. You gotta take care of your stuff. You can't be just letting people do your do stuff for you. Like it's not gonna help out. It's not gonna work, and it's gonna cause rifts in the relationship, and which is already probably doing. Because you feel trapped instead of feeling in love, and that's not that's not 
That's not what love is like. That's not what love looks like. That's not what love's supposed to look like. Now your outcome, you have the five of wands. Yeah, there's gonna be some fucking conflict. And I don't blame you, Aries. Like if you just like fed up, you fed up. Like the beast will come out. Like you guys like have been doing too much. But of course, right? If they don't know, if they don't know what they're doing isn't isn't cool, then just you know be easy but the thing is the conflict here may be internal turmoil because you know you don't want to cause any problems you don't want to upset anybody you don't want to do anything like that well the situation is this like do you want to continue to do the thing that you are that you're doing right now are you happy where you are because if you are then never mind right then never mind don't listen to me you know do what you want to do but if you're not happy with it then perhaps it is a good time to just go ahead and say something communicate talk about things Especially if they get out your dark on nerves. Codependency does not feel good. It feel good it feels good in the moment because you feel like you matter, but that's the thing. Like you're gonna always have to you're gonna always you're always gonna have to be like a slave in a way in order to kind of like feel like you you know, you, you, you deserve love. But you don't deserve love like that. You know, you deserve love for being yourself, for being the amazing person that you are not for what you can do for people and that's the thing that's what people get messed up right because like people think that's okay to just treat people like okay let me use you for a moment and then reward you for that no the reward is wanting to do it from the get-go wow and that's how we should that's what, and then that's what the same thing is too right we got to look at ourselves for this stuff okay let's go for the first oracle card i pulled which was from the wisdom of the oracle and its fates fate talks about things happening for a reason things may turn out the way that they are will of fortune in the past by the way because i think you guys ended entered a situation with a new perspective a new a new way of doing something and it led to this situation there's no wrong way of doing this by the way there's no right or wrong way it may be it may be terrible it may suck but it may not but it's not a bet you know it's, there was no right or wrong way to pursue a relationship this was this came up for a reason to help you to show you something about yourself everything happens to help us to get to our higher higher selves to get us closer to our to our higher selves pretty much like i was saying like it's really like to be the better version of ourselves we have to interact with people and be, or be involved in situations that may not feel like they're for our benefit but but they but in fact they are so this, when the fates come up, it's like, this is showing that this is happening for a reason, but you don't have to go down the road of this fates energy, right? Fates energy is really just saying that this was meant to happen to show you something. It's a karmic lesson that you have to overcome, which is why justice and the devil coming up in here. Both karmic energies showing that there is some sort of karmic situation that you have to play out. And this is an opportunity now to learn from it. Your destiny now it's up to you what do you want to take from the situation do you want to continue this do you want to change this do you want to what do you want to do with it because right now fates is just saying that there are situations in in line that may end up coming true based off of your karma but it's up to you and you're you know where where you decide your destiny will be to make this situation you know that really makes this the fates so powerful like if, whether you take the information take the perspective out of this and move on move on from this or to you know change the dynamic of everything or you continue to live this faded like lifestyle and you also have look to your inner strength you're stronger than you realize and that's the truth that's the devil card again the devil card is trying to is a card that is there to kind of make you feel disempowered you're chained to some big dude with a goat face and another with an, an, and another person and it makes you feel like the world around you is at your dis is um is is um not at your disposal but more at your de at your demise but it is at your disposal you have the opportunity and the power to get out of this situation even if it feels very difficult if it feels very impossible i promise you this Irish, you will find 100 and a million reasons why to stick it to a situation that's not beneficial that doesn't make you happy that doesn't make you feel like the fire of life that you should be as an air sign that's a fire sign rather but I'll tell you this, none of those reasons will be justifiable for you staying in a situation that makes you unhappy. Nothing. 
well, I have to do this because of this. Oh, I have to do this because of this. Okay, those are all choices in which you chose to stay in the situation. Remember that. It's not a blame. It's not, it's not anything like that. You choose. At the end of the day, you're choosing the excuses over your happiness. And if that's not what you want to do, then power to you. Look to your inner strength and get out of it. Or just not necessarily get out of it, but change the dynamic if you don't want to. I'm not saying break up with the individual. I don't think there's any breakup here, by the way. Nobody's breaking up because the five of wands is all about progress. It's about getting, we get, we always get to these really weird rough patches in our lives where we have to kind of fight through it and get to a place where we can feel like we got it now. We're, we're making progress in the right direction. We're going to hit riffs like this all the time, but this is like a make or break moment. You have to be able to stand your ground and be able to find your pr true self through the chaos, through the crazy. And that's the point with this looking to your inner strength part. You do, you are stronger than you realize. You've gone through so much. Okay. You're the first sign. You're the baby. You're going to be affected first for a lot of things, depending on what you got going on. But you guys feel it. And you know what? It's about recognizing your strength and finding other solutions, finding other things. That's what the five of wands is all about. It's a change in your dynamic, but finding a different solution to your situation. And you do have the power to change your situation, but it's about recognizing that power and then taking control, taking control of yourself, not the other person, but yourself. Because the only, that's the only way you're going to change the situation. How you want things, you have to be that thing. I don't know if you've ever heard, if you want the world to change, you have to be the change. If you want the relationship to change, the dynamic to change, you have to change. Be the person that you want, but that you want in your relationship. That's the same thing. And that comes from paying attention to yourself, focusing on yourself, loving on yourself. Some of you guys, you guys have been paying too much attention to yourselves in a way. Like perhaps you guys have been taking care of yourselves and not thinking about anybody else, just kind of using other people. Some of you guys out there, and I, I really don't think that's a lot of you. And I feel like that's very few of you, but that's the thing. If you guys have been doing that, then it's time to shift that up, shake that up, because you're recognizing that situations now are not really very exciting, very appealing, and you may need to add a little bit more to that, right? Don't be so focused on yourself to the point where you're letting the relationship sink because you're not being considerate, okay? Be selfish. Don't be inconsiderate, because that's those are two different things. You can be selfish and, and, and considerate at the same time, right? communicate with your partner talk to them don't just allow them to don't just don't just expect them to know what's going on with you and what they what you need but at the same time don't do everything for someone else and not make sure that they're accountable for their actions and make sure that they're accountable for their 50 of the relationship that's how you get some stuff messed up but then most importantly though even if the things look a little intense you know you can survive this right this is just a five it's intense in the moment, sure, but it's temporary and it's always, it always gets to a solution. And that's why this five of wands is coming up in the external and the outcome. Cause it, yeah, sure. It's intense. Sure. It's arguing. Sure. It's conflict. You'll get to a solution. Don't worry. I have no, I have no doubt in my mind that you guys will find a solution, but being quiet, being distant, I don't think that's necessarily the way out, way out. I do think you need to put yourself in a situation where you can receive more areas so you can be able to give, be able to get more, but you have to talk about it. Got to make it known. You have to fight for yourself. 